Good morning, YouTube. We are back. It has been a long, cold, lonely winter, but here comes the sun. And in spring, a boy's attention turns to cars. So let's ease ourselves back into it with a nice, easy job for starters. All winter, this fascia air vent has been annoying my hole because it won't stay open every time you let go of it, it slides closed again, which means the car's been misting up all winter. Now it's a fairly easy thing to fix. The hardest thing is working out how to get it out. Start off with a small flat bladed screwdriver and just gently prise out the two vents. They just clipped in. So if you just get along the side of it and just ease them out. So you see there's a little sort of spigot and then these just sort of clip onto that. And it's the same with the one, the big one as well. And when you've got that out, get a Phillips screwdriver and there are just two screws at the bottom which are revealed by taking those vents out. Take those out, then pull the body of the thing away from the ducting and then take care because underneath there well, there should be two spaces there's there's these two spaces between the plastic and the metal bracket it looks like one of them has been lost here previously and this is just a standard air vent out of the Vauxhall parts bin from this era uh, so if yours is goose then you should be able to find one easy enough at a breakers yard but this one I think we can repair the way it works is that when you operate the thumb wheel there that operates this crank and that moves the air distribution flap at the back. Looking in the back of the thing, that flap is two bits of plastic sandwiching this bit of foam. Now originally that foam wrapped around the sides and was sort of half trapped between the flap itself and the wall of the air vent and that provided just enough friction that the, the flap would stay open. The problem is this stuff's just perished, it's just degraded over the years and so all the foam's gone at the side and so there's nothing to stop the flap falling down. So the way we're going to fix this is I'm just going to bond, just glue a piece of new fabric on the side of the wall there just to sort of be trapped between the flap and the vent and that should just put that friction back in so the flap will stay open. And this is the fabric I'm going to use. It's an offcut we've got lying around. It's a sort of rubberized fabric that's used for making non-slip uh, table mats. The first time I did this I stuck it on with contact adhesive. That turned out not to be a great idea. It's actually a good idea to use something just regular um, Bostic type or purpose glue because it helps. It's a bit of a fiddle getting the fabric up the side of the flap so it helps if you can reposition the fabric a little bit without the glue sticking straight away. So but yeah, you'll figure something out, whatever you've got lying around. So there you go, there's that bit of fabric stuck back on and our vent is working normally again. So I hope you're learning something from watching these videos. This is after all what the internet was invented for, not so Theresa May could spy on you while you're masturbating. The main thing we've learned though from 12 months of making these videos is that you are peeing in the wind trying to film a fiddly job like that inside a dark hole. But I'm sure you can figure out sticking a bit of fabric onto a bit of plastic for yourselves. And just put it back on the opposite of how we took it off. Lubricate the pivots of the vents with a little bit of Vaseline. And push the vents back in. And that's it, the job is done, leaving us free to get back to those sort of pleasurable activities that keep GCHQ busy.